Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. You got things to do, so let's get right to it. This tropical disturbance that is sliding by. Some of us have had some rain and some storms, nothing organized, but Dominica, St. Kitts and Nevis, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, just to name a few, we've seen that flare up of rain and storms. I've been tracking that dry air around this area the last few days, right? We've been tracking that together, but this is now starting to work its way on the other side of it and flaring up. It's not organized, but what I mentioned three or four days ago, it would bring us some rain in the northeastern Caribbean, even some gusty winds, and be mindful of some of the uh, thunderstorms. We could get some isolated flooding. This will stretch back toward Puerto Rico, even the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and then this area will work its way toward the Bahamas and I do expect it to develop more likely than not into at least a tropical storm down the road. So I want to cover all of that in this video and get a look at the model comparisons. Here's a closer look at that. So here's St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, just to kind of uh, set the map. Saba, Stacia, St. Martin, or you get over toward uh, British and U.S. Virgin Islands. St. Croix, we had some rain last night. And this is the tropical disturbance. Not organized, not a name system, but bringing us some rain. Some of us still need to get some of the rain. So that's the good news part of it. Others don't need a whole lot, but this will work its way back toward Puerto Rico and then over toward the Dominican Republic. But as it stands now, if you are watching from the Bahamas, North Central and Southern Bahamas, we have over 700 islands and back through the Turks and Caicos, we should be now in monitor mode. So this is a change from yesterday. What does monitor mode mean? Well, that means a kind of a higher alert. Doesn't mean we need to take preparations for a system coming in. It's always good to have have some initial preparations as we know during the uh, hurricane season. Uh, but with that said, uh, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos this weekend, we're going to see the rain working in even starting for some of us uh, tomorrow. And especially as we get into Friday and Saturday and into Sunday, we're going to have that chance of flooding. But there is now that possibility of a tropical storm developing on top of the Bahamas as it starts to work away from the Bahamas. Hopefully it doesn't organize uh, quickly. I don't want anything to organize, but uh, hopefully things stay slow. So that's good news. We don't need anything rapidly intensifying, but we are in monitor mode. So that means a higher alert uh, as we watch out for this thing, but we're not in action mode yet. Uh, we don't need to take uh, those bigger steps to prepare. I never want you wasting your time or resources, but I do want us to be safe. That's why I do this channel. Safety is the number one priority. So we are watching this carefully. Bahamas, Turks, and Caicos for the possibility of something developing this weekend. Now, there's still that dry air, that orange shading, but you could see here, not as much. I don't just look at the models. I look at the environmental conditions and right on track with this buildup of some rain and storms now. And this will continue to march its way closer to the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. So this orange shading here doesn't mean that this is not a cone. There's not something uh, pointed into this direction, uh, so to speak. This is just an area to watch out for the possibility of something developing. So let's get into that. Then I want to get into the model comparisons, the rain totals, all of that in this video. So here's the spot we're watching. This is the European model, the green on the map. That would be some rain. Not organized as expected. This is right on track from what we were talking about all the way this past weekend. Let's go out in time here. This is by tomorrow. Still not organized, but you see the rain right here. Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Now the area of high pressure, not super dominant. That's moving away. That's the blocker. And we are keeping an eye on a couple fronts in the United States. And I bring that up because that gives whatever this is a window to try to lift to the north. I watch those steering conditions very carefully. But point being tomorrow, still a chance of rain northern and northeastern Caribbean. Then here, this is by Friday. Now on Friday, we're going to see the rain really working into the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, even parts of Cuba. Jamaica, we could see a little uptick in some of the rain, but most of it will stay to the north of us. But you see the extra rain here on Friday, watching a system in the U.S. This system in the U.S., this front in the U.S., may help kind of grab this and lift it to the north. The European model has been consistent in uh, thinking uh, that that is what's going to happen. This here is by Saturday. Saturday is the day it may start to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. We'll talk more about that in a moment. And that's why we are now in monitor mode, Turks and Caicos, back through the Bahamas, just in case anything spins up a little bit uh, quicker. We know those water temperatures are very warm. And then here's Florida. And then you can see here the European model 
keeps a system on Sunday developing into a tropical storm very close to the northern Bahamas just offshore of Florida and then lifting its way closer up toward uh, the Carolinas. Uh, now the European model generally has it just kind of skirting uh, say North Carolina and then potentially uh, just offshore of New England, Atlantic region of Canada that is well down the road. Uh, here's Bermuda but that area of high pressure uh, not super dominant that allows a window of this to kind of lift to the north and then eventually not in the short term, but in the longer term, you see here, this is Monday, going from a tropical storm and potentially into a hurricane close to the Carolinas. This will, here's Bermuda. This will be far enough off toward the west. This is just one model solution. There's a lot going on in the environment. I mentioned I need to see how this gets on the other side, how this does as it gets on the other side of the uh, dry air, and that's sort of what's happening right now. So I'm starting to see this a little bit better. I would lean to the European model if I were to lean in one direction just based on the environment. But here's the American model and it shows that opposite solution. It's not that one is completely right or wrong. It's just picking up on different things. This is tomorrow. There's the increased rain. So this here is the American model. Still like the European, they're on track the next few days, not showing a development. By Friday, same thing. Now, the uh, American model takes this disturbance a little bit more to the west. So that would give us a better chance of rain in parts of Cuba and Jamaica by Friday. And then here as we work our way into the weekend, there's going to be some rain here. Here's that front, but the American model is not feeling that as much. It's not getting tugged as much to the north. Not a whole lot of development out of this on Saturday. Still some extra rain even across the Bahamas. And then it kind of, uh, um, I don't want to say gets confused, uh, but uh, the, the model itself is a little bit uncertain showing that increased chance of rain. Here's Florida by the time we get into Sunday. Sometimes the model shows something trying to develop in the Gulf of Mexico. Let me bring out into Monday. Sometimes it shows it trying to develop off the uh, coast of the southeast. It isn't sure. I get it. It's it's a computer and it, this is a difficult environment to read, but you can see by Monday a buildup of rain. Sometimes it shows a hurricane trying to lift into the northern Gulf, so not ruling that out either. Uh, other times it shows the moisture getting sucked eventually into that front and then lifting up toward the Carolinas. We'll wait and see, see on that. But either way, if it forms a little bit sooner, it has more of a likelihood to get pulled up by that front. Something that spins more, uh, that is more developed, uh, has a propensity to go more to the north. So like the European model, if it starts to develop a little bit Saturday and Sunday, most likely we'll get tugged up to the north. If it stays weaker, like the American model, at least initially, uh, it would move more to the west and then try to develop in the Gulf of Mexico. So let me break this down further. I know there's a lot going on here. Let me take you through it. The European model says yes, this will become a hurricane, but like I showed you, not in the short term. So for us in the Caribbean, not developing into a hurricane the next few days. It hasn't tried to develop into a hurricane off the coast of the Carolina. So that's the European model. The American model has it, the latest run of it, the latest output, it, you know, kind of the, the information it puts out there, has it work its way into the Gulf of Mexico very weak and then develop into a hurricane and lift to the north. So still not in the short term. The Canadian model has it develop into a tropical storm, as does the ICON model, but has it generally staying offshore. So more of the models have it kind of creeping up through the Bahamas and then lifting to the north. The American model has it shooting into the Gulf of Mexico, but most have what the European has as of now, because in what I'm seeing is that that front may be strong enough to tug some of this moisture in. But always a concern, the water temperatures, they're always warm this time of year, but they are a little extra warm. It's been running ahead of schedule. So anytime you get an area of rain rolling over very warm water, uh, that's something to keep an eye out for. Water temperatures 30, 31 degrees Celsius, 86 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit across the Bahamas. So that's a lot of that fuel that can feed these things. But it's not just what's going on at the surface, it's what's going on above. So I look at the wind shear and there's not, this is the wind shear on Saturday. Those are winds in the uh, atmosphere that kind of can knock off a developing, the, the thunderstorms of a developing tropical storm or hurricane. The wind shear is good, could kind of rip apart these systems. The wind shear is not too terribly high. 
for the most part. So the wind shear not super high and the water temperatures as we know very warm. And that's why the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos were in monitor mode because I don't want to lose sight that something could spin up a little bit quicker. I'm not going to lose sight of that. Short term, no, it won't spin up in the Northeastern Caribbean, but I am watching the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos carefully because there are some ingredients that could turn this into a tropical storm as soon as we get into the weekend. So it's this area here. More clusters of rain and storms. These not organized. Big strong wave coming off the coast of Africa. Watching that and look here on the eastern Pacific side. This is not organized, but we've seen some rain in western sections of, uh, of uh, Mexico. Some very heavy rain in some spots. But you see this spin here. Here's a developing system watching this area out here. Now this developing system should stay away from Mexico, but I'll keep an eye on it. And another area back behind it that may also try to develop, getting active on the eastern Pacific side. And with that, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, we've had the rain. Even a cluster of uh, showers uh, splitting Cuba and Haiti. And there's that rain that we've been tracking. Let me know in the comments Island by island, all locations uh, matter when we're tracking the weather. If you're if you're getting any rain and storms, or if you are on the dry side. Now Trinidad and Tobago today could see a few scattered showers. Guyana, Barbados, St. Lucia, spotty showers, but a better chance. Northeastern Caribbean makes sense where that tropical disturbance is. And look at that rain possible parts of Panama and Costa Rica, scattered Cayman Islands, Jamaica over toward Cuba, and then we flip over into tomorrow, and you see this tropical disturbance sliding its way toward Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Even the Turks and Caicos, the rain, especially by tomorrow night, will start to pick up. And then on Friday, we'll start to see some of this moisture feeding across and trying to feed in. This is the American model. And then after that, things are split. The American model wants to take this moisture, swing it to the Gulf, while the European model wants to lift it up to the north, as I was showing you earlier in this video. So, of course, the seas are going to be elevated. Things are going to be choppier. This is a look at today, looking at two to about three meters, parts of the Caribbean and into the Atlantic water could be a little higher, could be upwards of 11, maybe 12 feet in some spots. And it just depends on the uh, strength of this. This run, this wave height model is based on the American model. So it, you can see as we go over in time, waves are not super high, but the European develops this a little bit more in the Bahamas, right? So the seas could be even a bit higher as we work our way into this here would be Saturday. I think this is a little underdone, so heads up, of course, with any uh, boating, sailing plans across the Bahamas, anything on the uh, water as we work our way into the weekend. Now, in the short term, not as much across the Bahamas. Scattered storms possible. Cuba, as we swing back through uh, Jamaica, Cayman Islands could get one or two. But this here, for a three-day rain total, we are going to get some spots of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. Dominican Republic, uh, Puerto Rico, parts of the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, that could lead to some flooding. And then we have those scattered showers now. We had some last night in Guilla, uh, St. Bart's. Uh, we could get 50 millimeters or two inches of rain. Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, we've already picked up some rain. Could get an additional at least 25 millimeters of some rain. But as we swing back toward the southeastern Caribbean, not as much scattered showers. Trinidad, we've had some flooding the last few days, so it'd be good to get a, a bit of a break. Guyana, rain chance has gone down, so the total's not as high. Same thing, Suriname and Venezuela. But on the high side, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, that's where we could see some spots over 100 millimeters or four inches of rain. So much moisture is building here in Central America. Some scattered storms in uh, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras. But all this moisture is going to lend itself to the development of the next name system in the eastern Pacific. So uh, there'll be a system here, and then we'll be watching over toward uh, the uh, Bahamas. Uh, Mexico City to the north, not as much, but as I mentioned, West Mexico, that's where there's been some heavier rain this morning. Now, we swing to the Atlantic region of Canada. Need to keep a very close eye on this system because if it does take that European uh, model track, that can mean a system could be offshore or at least nearby uh, by the time we get into next week. In the short term, uh, scattered showers and storms will be around. This is our Thursday afternoon, Nova Scotia, uh, back toward uh, Newfoundland, seeing that chance of some rain. And then as we work our way into Friday, could see a few spotty showers, bit of a break, could get a couple thunderstorms over toward Quebec but uh, uh, from uh, Quebec over toward uh, Newfoundland, uh, spotty showers and storms. Uh, but all eyes will be on what's going on down to the south. So Jamaica, 30% chance of rain today, but a 50% chance of some storms tomorrow and Friday, 20 to 30% chance of the next couple days across the Cayman Islands. 
scattered about Trinidad and Tobago, not widespread, but we could have some showers and storms around Barbados. We're looking at a 30 to 40% chance and a 40% chance of some scattered showers uh, possible today in St. Lucia. Grenada, 20 to 30% chance, 30% uh, chance in the next two days, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance, Martinique, 30 to 40%. And then you see here as we work to the north, Dominica, and a lot of this has already panned out, a 60% chance of rain and storms today. We knew today and tomorrow the rain chance would be bumping up with this tropical disturbance. It is for Dominica. Same thing for Guadeloupe. Could get some heavier areas of rain today. Antigua and Barbuda, it will be active. Even if you don't get rain for a time, you know something is around. You get that feel, the breezy conditions. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, an additional 60% chance of rain, 50% chance in Guilla and St. Bart's. All of this is elevated. Same thing, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. And then we get back through Puerto Rico. Scattered rain and storms increasing for tomorrow. British and U.S. Virgin Islands. We've already had some rain around the next two days. That higher chance. Bahamas, all eyes on Friday into the weekend to see if we have that developing system. Turks and Caicos, rain chance going up tomorrow into Friday. In the Dominican Republic, 40 to 50% chance of scattered storms. Rain chance goes up tomorrow and Friday in Haiti. Watching out for that threat of some flooding. Belize, about a 30 to 40% chance of scattered storms around uh, Belize City. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, generally the dry conditions. Still some dust in the air with some lower air quality. 40 to 50% chance of rain in Guyana. 30 to 40% chance of rain in Suriname. Holding at an even 30% chance of some scattered storms favoring eastern sections in Cuba. Costa Rica, as I was showing you, the rain chance is higher. Parts of Panama with that flooding. Flood potential in Nicaragua. Landslides will be possible. Honduras, best chance. Eastern sections, 40% chance of rain today in Guatemala and El Salvador. Picks up uh, tomorrow to about a 60% chance. Scattered showers and storms in Mexico City. Not as much across the uh, Yucatan where we're mainly dry. Rain chance stays on the small side in uh, northern uh, Colombia. Northern Venezuela, 20 to 30% chance. And a 30% chance the next few days in Bermuda. So surely active. We are now in monitor mode in the Bahamas. So that's a higher alert. We're letting our friends uh, know that there could be a system nearby or developing on top of us as we get into the uh, upcoming weekend, Friday into the weekend. Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos. Uh, in the short term, we have more rain around in the northeastern Caribbean. We'll watch out for the development this weekend. It could be a tropical storm or stronger into a hurricane. Not in the short term, but as I was mentioning earlier, in the longer term, a better chance that this does develop. So that a tropical storm threat overall is growing. Thank you for being part of this channel. Thank you for your kind words in the comments. I see those. Have a good rest of your day.